Hey guys, if you've ever tried to print flexibles like TPUs and TPEs on the FunMat HD, you know it's not that easy because the filament just works its way out through any area that it can in the extruder gear, uh, and it just doesn't really work that well. Uh, so today we're gonna show you the modification that we made for printing flexibles on the FunMat HT. Now, keep in mind, printing TPUs and TPEs on this machine isn't the easiest, and that's due to the gaps in the feed system. To mitigate this, we've made it work a lot easier by creating these small parts that you actually install inside the feed motor, which closes the gaps and enables much easier printing of the flexibles. Uh, these parts are available on our site for about $10 and they're made out of carbon fiber Ultim. Just as a note, this doesn't make printing TPU easy, so still be prepared to print very slowly and unjam the extruder on occasion. This thing will make it about 70% easier. So let's dive right in. Okay, so to do this, all right, so to do this project, you're gonna need a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench and a 1.5 millimeter hex wrench. It's really, really easy. First thing you're gonna do is just loosen up the tension on the spring here until it's almost all the way out, but you can leave it screwed into the lever. Then you're gonna pull the spring out, two hands, be careful, because this can go flying. I set that to the side, and I'm gonna we're gonna take out the lever with a 2.5 millimeter hex. It's only a few turns, and then the whole thing actually slides out with this long bolt. So, you should be fine. Getting that out, set that to the side. Then we use the 2.5 millimeter to get the three screws that are holding on the face plate. There's one. And two longer screws on the bottom. These I can actually leave in there because they're longer, so they're secure, they won't fall out. And number three. For this one, we're gonna have to take off these two bottom screws. These are three millimeter screws. And we just pull these out, and you know they're different because they're, they've got that angle there. So we got one of those. And one of these. Now this will take the whole face plate off of the machine. The whole thing comes off. And I've got, you'll notice the peak tube sticking out the bottom and all the screws are loose. So I'll set this whole thing to the side. And then I'm gonna take my 1.5 millimeter hex wrench. And you'll see these set screws on the side of the gear. I'm just gonna loosen these screws. Don't pull them out all the way. Just loosen them like a good half turn. There it goes. Just so we can pull the gear off. Stick that down in there. Get nice and loose. Then the gear just slides right off. If you loosen it enough. Maybe loosen a little bit more. And there we go. Might take a little bit to get that thing off, but uh, just make sure those set screws are loose enough and you should be fine. So now we're gonna take, so now you're gonna take this little flex insert here and you're gonna align it on the motor like this. So the little point here is gonna be facing up and this is gonna slide right over the shaft. Now you notice there's a place for it to rest. The whole thing's not flat and it'll slide right in there. This, this side, notice how this is a full circle and then it's been sheared off on this edge. That's where the filament goes down through. So we're just gonna put that in there, get it nice and tight, get it fit in there. And then we're gonna put the extruder gear back on. Make sure that you have the flat side with one of the set screws. And then push this back on. And we'll take our 1.5 millimeter again and tighten the set screws. Get nice on there, that'll keep it from rotating. 
on the shaft so that it actually grips the filament. Tighten the other one. Good to go there. Now, one thing to consider is make sure that it's actually all the way back on the shaft. And do this again just to make sure it's all the way back. You want it to be nice and tight in there. And push it back. Down, tighten down the other one. So, once you've got that on there, now we're going to put the faceplate back on and make sure that the peak tube goes down into the hot end, at least so it can be aligned. Do that. Next, I am going to get my 2.5 millimeter and I'm gonna attach this to the motor first. So I'm gonna bring the faceplate back in just by screwing in these two at the bottom like we had before. Now don't go too tight on these until you get all three in. You don't wanna strip anything. This thing is made of aluminum. I'll loosen everything just a half turn. Good. I'm gonna take that third bolt from the face plate. Line that in there. Now we're 70% of the way there. So I'm gonna tighten this down nice and good. Tighten these other two. All right. And now I can take these angled screws again with the three millimeter and screw the motor assembly back onto the top gantry. Just in there, finger tight is good for now. You want to tighten these down after you get them both in. Bada bing, bada boom. Got that one in there, nice and finger tight. And nice and finger tight, cool. And lastly, we've got, we've got the extruder lever once again. Now notice on this model, they do have a little washer right, right there on the screw. So make sure that's still there. Put this together, stick the lever on there, push the screw back as far as you can, take your 2.5 millimeter and screw the lever back on. Now, once it's tight, you don't want that tight. So you want to loosen it out of probably two turns or so, just so it's nice and loose. And then we get that tension back by putting the screw assembly back in. Now again, be careful, hold this with as many fingers or hands as you can. Stick it down in there, and then stick it underneath. Good to go, center it up, and tension your spring back down. <clears throat> and that's about it. Flex insert is now installed, but really, that's about it. Your flexion shooter is installed, and you'll have a much better time printing flexibles. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out anytime. We're based out here in Southern California. Uh, you can email us at contactatvisionminer.com or give us a call, 833-774-6863. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day and we'll see you on the next video.